In the stairwell of a Harlem apartment building, two men fool around with a gun, waiting, police say, after they made a fake call for Chinese food delivery. You can see the delivery man here in the blue hoodie come down the stairs. Police say that's when one of the suspects points a gun at him, demanding money. Terrified, 56-year-old Saiku Tambajong fought back and even pulled out his cell phone. Gun pointed. It's the second most understood word next to OK. This single drink has reached Timbuktu, Papua New Guinea, I mean, places that most humans haven't been to. And over 1.9 billion servings are drunk in more than 200 countries every day. The business of Coca-Cola is incredibly profitable. But in its first year, it turned and over just $50. Nobody knew what it was. And nobody had ever heard of it. How did the murky brown liquid conceived from a medicine containing cocaine started off as anything but soft become the best-selling soft drink of all time? Coke killers, a symbol of capitalism. And people see it as a symbol of America. This documentary tells the definitive story of Coca-Cola with incredible inside access. You're the first UK documentary crew that we've had in the archives. We have 190,000 items worth over $100 million. We actually have a letter of Martin Luther King thanking Coca-Cola. I like to teach the world. They launched one of the most memorable ads of all time with this hilltop extravaganza. I Created icons. Diet Coke, you've been good to me. And they even stole Christmas. Despite phenomenal success, the changing world has sent the company into crisis. From the sugar scares, with unrivaled access, we reveal the secrets of Coca-Cola, the billion dollar beverage. The woman started punching and slapping her in the face. What Jeanette couldn't see as she staggered back inside was her daughter getting out of the truck to help. And that's when I found out that he had hit her. Who does that to a child? Who turns around and hits her like he would a grown man? He needs putting up under the jail. Even veteran officers like Baxley's police chief say they've never seen an unprovoked attack like this. The suspects in the case, Eric and Latasha Smith, face several felony warrants.